I have a clear message for all of you today. This is a changed Labour Party. Across the board, we've embraced the power of enterprise. Understand that this is the only way to pay your way in the modern world. And this means that we see the Indian community for the success story you are in 21st century Britain. Success. It's, it's such an important word. And I accept that in the past, Labour gave the impression we could only see the lives of people and communities who needed our support. But my Labour Party understands that what working people want in every community is success, aspiration and security. So we're increasing Indian representation at all levels in our party. And I'm excited to see some of the talent now serving their community on behalf of our party. And we now look at the contribution the British Indian community makes to Britain. And we celebrate it in all its glory. The role you play expanding our economy, strengthening our society, defining our culture. And let's be honest, running our country. But the challenge, as I see it now, is for Britain to step out of the shadows in its mind, to cast aside the entitlement of history and deepen our relationship with the real India, the modern India, the future India. And yes, look, we can celebrate our shared culture. We know as well as anyone that Indian food is the greatest in the world, and if the rest of the world continues to ignore the arcane wonder of cricket, we can laugh together at their misfortune. <laughs> but we also know that this can't be the basis of a serious and deep diplomatic relationship in the modern world. And that is what my Labour government will seek with India. A relationship based on our shared values of democracy and aspiration that will seek a free trade agreement we share that ambition, but also a new strategic partnership for global security, climate security, economic security. This is the essential truth of the world we live in. These three goals all depend on each other. We have a mutual interest in all of them, of course. But as Prime Minister Modi was setting out in the US recently, there are opportunities here as well. New technologies, new industries, new investments, where our interests clearly align. On artificial intelligence, for example, on the clean energy boom that hydrogen, offshore wind and carbon capture can provide. And in this increasingly volatile world, on the collective security of defence cooperation. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.